Hawk and Dove number six, written and art by Rob Liefeld. We left off last issue with the end of an arc that I guarantee you does not matter at all for this one. And this one begins with Hawk leaping over rooftops in Gotham City, and he is being chased after by Blockbuster, a huge meat of a man who could just pretty much destroy anything with just his pecs. Uh, apparently they were after Blockbuster because he stole something, an amulet of some sort, and now Hawk is on the retreat because Blockbuster could literally cave his head in despite his superpowers. But he decides, all right, I'm cornered, time to fight, now or never. So he kicks Blockbuster in the nuts, then goes to punch his face, and he's like, all right, I got it, I'm on the... And then he gets punched in the face himself and is down for the count. And of course, Dove comes in, lands a hit of her own, and Hawk makes the point that Dove is actually the stronger one out of the two, which, okay, I suppose. There's no reason that it can't be true, it's just... She's the peace near the war, whatever. So they team up and they finally uh, are about to take down Blockbuster, but he gets some big power boost because I guess that's just part of what he does. And he gets the amulet that was around Hawk's neck. And as Hawk is about to give chase, he gets wrapped up in a restraining tie thing. And we see the person who did it is Robin, which I gotta say, they they don't explicitly say but they very heavily imply that this is Damien, the current Robin, as Robin, because they say League of Assassins in a minute. He looks 20. There's, he's supposed to be 10. He is definitely at least 20. Maybe that's just Rob Liefeld, point being. He seems a lot more like Tim Drake than he does Damien. But regardless, uh, Hawk gets out of it. He kicks Robin in the face. And they start battling for a second because they don't know each other. Well, he knows who Robin is, but Robin doesn't know who they are. And then Dove shows up and is like, hey, all right, look, we were chasing after an amulet. You just let it get away. So we're going to go after it some more. And then Robin's like, yeah, that's actually like the seventh thing that was stolen in terms of a bunch of different totems and magical pieces. Uh, so I put a tracker on him, and he's going to take us to the mother load because there's no way Blockbuster's going to want anything to do with it. He's being used by someone else. And when Dove questions, when you say leads us to the mother load, you're not talking about me, you, and Hawk, right? He's like, no, it's me, Batman. And so Batman shows up, and he explains that uh, a villain named Necromancer has been pulling the strings this whole time, and it's good that Hawk and Dove are here because they have supernatural elements, so they'll be able to help fight Necromancer with that, I suppose. Hawk and Robin spar verbally for a little bit, and then Batman's like, all right, everyone shut up. We gotta go because she'll become more powerful than anything we've ever seen before if she uses those totems, so let's let's get going. But as long as you're in Gotham, my city, my rules. And Hawk is like, Psh, whatever, I don't, I don't even care. But then they go off into the night. We see all four of them. And Hawk's narrating this entire issue, by the way, and he specifically points out, like, how does how does a bat and a robin even make any sense? One's a bird and one's a, wing, a winged rodent. It's stupid. This is stupid. So let me cut over to Necromancer. She has the seven items she needs to apparently become the most supreme sorceress in all the realms. She can access all the dimensions like the slip and the veil and the green and the red. And she'll rule over them with an iron fist and blah, blah, blah. So then Batman and Hawk come in. They aim for Blockbuster, start to take him out. Dove and Robin go for the Necromancer. And... She starts to put up a little bit of a fight. Like, she's got spells that, like, are completing the circle and have these totems floating around her. But then Robin just punches her in the face and Dove grabs one of the items. And is like, all right, the spell's over. We did it, guys. Congrats. But then, of course, Blockbuster is now free from whatever spell Necromancer was using. So he's now in just a super blind rage. So Batman and Hawk team up and they both do super strong punches on the guy and he takes him out and batman butters up hawk a little bit being like are all the avatars of war as powerful as you and he's like oh batman so they punch necromancer a little bit but then she uses some smoke and gas to escape and like literally none of them have the ability to follow 
Like, it's not saying that she teleported out or used magic. Like, she just used a gas bomb, and everyone's like, I can't see. But regardless, stuff is like, ah, we got all the items back. I doubt she's coming back for a while. And we're going to need some help bringing Blockbuster to uh, Arkham, even though I think he's more of just a county jail sort of guy, but whatever. So then Batman's like, look, I'm impressed by your guys' power, but you need to learn to work together better. It, it would, as long as you can live to show your true power, I believe you'll be more effective than anyone I've ever met. And then they jump off, and that's it. They're going back to Washington, D.C. Honestly, I feel like DC Editorial was just, like, looking down the list of, hmm, okay, I think we've gotten pretty much every single comic in the New 52 lineup to cross over with Batman at the, wait a minute, Rob Liefeld, what are you doing over there? You haven't crossed over with Batman yet. And they just made this issue, because of course they did. <sighs> it's fine. There's nothing in it that's, like, inherently, like, oh, God, this issue. It's fine. It's just Batman and Hawk and Dove and, for some reason, Age 20 Robin all just teaming up and having a fight. It means nothing. That's Honestly, in the end, it just means nothing. So I'm, gonna, I'm giving this one a 5.5 just because it means nothing. Like, it's, it's slightly better than average, average being a 5, but it's just perfect filler. This is quite literally, it doesn't further anything at all. It's the exact perfect filler. So, good on it.